You know, people come to my shop just for the espresso or the cappuccino. Maybe we should call this Dubs and Coffee. So hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about the German birth certificate. Guys, people ask me pretty much on a weekly basis, um, I'm restoring a beetle, I'm tearing it down, uh, I don't know what the original color is, how could I find out? I want to know some more information about my car, the history, where it was shipped to, what kind of features it had on it originally. You know, what do I got to do to, to go about getting that? And I always reply and say, order the German birth certificate. And then I'll get a reply email that says, well, how do I order the German birth certificate? And I'll reply back, well, Google is great. And type in VW German birth certificate. And sure enough, the next page, pretty much the top link, you'll see the uh, auto museum for Volkswagen and you click on that link and you can apply for the birth certificate. And the cool thing about the birth certificate is that, you know, uh, you can punch in your VIN number from your tag or the VIN on the chassis, hopefully they're matching. And then uh, if you think you have the original motor to the car, you can punch that VIN number in as well. And then usually, I mean, I've waited up to six months sometimes to get this in. Uh, they are pretty slow. Uh, I guess they're pretty busy. People are applying. I, I don't know. And supposedly they go back to like the old microfilm and they look up, you know, the details to your car. Uh, if, uh, you know, where it was shipped out of uh, or when it was shipped, where it was shipped to, that sort of thing. Uh, and it's pretty remarkable. It's pretty cool that you can get this sort of thing. It's not cheap. Uh, last I checked, I think it was about $75 or $80, um, you know, to, to get this. You get a nice folder that looks like this. And then when you open the folder, they'll have a letter basically on the left hand side uh, like this uh, basically giving you the information as far as if your motor is uh, matching to the car uh, which is really nice to see uh, if, if it is matching and then on the other side though you, you pull out the actual certificate itself and uh, basically tell you uh, you know the year the car was born uh, where it was shipped to and the extra options uh, that the car had uh, now, many times when I do this, you know, I have an earlier bug and I'm looking to have it to get the information on it. I mean, nine times out of ten, they never have the color mentioned, uh, which is kind of disappointing. You know, you would, you'd like to know that because uh, many people want to go back to the original color. Uh, so I kind of go by that as a gauge, you know, like if they, if they say the color, then I'll definitely go back to the color. If they don't say the color, I'll maybe pick a color from that year and go with that. Um, and I think you're okay with that. You're not going to devalue the car really in any way. So, but uh, it, it's pretty cool to get. Um, like I said, you wait a bit of time until you get the certificate. You might get lucky and, uh, and you get it, get it sooner. Um, but uh, it, it's pretty cool to have. And it's a good document to have, I guess, you know, with the car, when you go to car shows, you can show people. And then when it comes time to sell the car, it's also cool that you reached out to the, the, the museum. Uh, to get information about your car, the birth of your car, where it was shipped to, and the features that were originally on it. Uh, so uh, if you get a chance, uh, definitely check that out. Just do a Google search, like I said, and uh, VW birth certificate, and uh, you'll come to the link. Now, the checkout page is in German, uh, last I checked, and uh, you know you could do translation through Google, of course, uh, to do the checkout process if you need, but it's pretty self-explanatory, just putting your credit card information in and such. But you know, I know it could take time to get this, but, you know, if you're starting a restoration, put it in at the beginning of the resto. So then by the time the car's finished, you'll have the certificate and such. You know, if you're waiting for that so-called color or whatever, you know, you're just going to have to wait, um, you know, wanting to know that information. But uh, for the most part, uh, it's pretty cool to have. It's, it's really nice stock paper. It uh, really looks and feels like a certificate. You know, it's not like a cheap printout or anything like that. So 
Um, guys, that's that tip for today. A lot of people email me on this and they want to know the history about their bug and this is a great way to do it. It's not, like I said, it's not too cheap, but um, you can punch that in and, and really get the details. Don't be surprised if you don't get any details that you don't already know. I've ha it's happened to me. I send away for the certificate and this, I already, they didn't really tell me anything new uh, on the certificate uh, that I didn't already know about the car. Like I said, a lot of times they don't even know what color uh, was uh, correct or what interior color you would have had inside as well. So uh, I guess the older the car, the more difficult it's probably to read the microfilm. Uh, but maybe the newer, you know, the, the later cars, you, you'll probably have a better shot. So, all right, guys, that is that tip for today. Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com. Um, got any comments? You got any suggestions? You got any tips for this? Um, uh, leave it in the, in the comments below. And uh, let's have a discussion. All right, guys, take care. Uh -huh.